All right, guess, let's get let's get started. Lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. Given a, is a binary tree or binary search tree? Binary tree. Okay. Now, given a binary tree, find the lowest common ancestor (LCA) right, of two given nodes in the tree. According to the definition of LCA on Wikipedia, the lowest common ancestor is defined between two nodes V and W as the lowest node in T that has both V and W as descendants. Uh, where we allow a node to be a descendant of itself. So, for example, the lowest common ancestor of nodes 5 and 1 is 3. Another example of, is LCA of nodes is 5 and 4. LC, L, another example is LCA of nodes 5 and 4 is 5. Since a node can be descendant of itself according to the LCA definition, alright? Alright, cool. Now, so what do we get from this? Now, usually when we get a tree, we think of two solution. We think of two solutions. One is recursion, and the other is iteration, right? So um, personally, I would prefer um, when dealing with tree questions. I prefer uh, iterate recursion because that's more uh, intuitive. So. How do we deal with this now? So there are three circumstances, right? First of all, is the tree the, the these the nodes are on the same side, which means well, there are three circumstances. So the nodes are both. Oh wait, sorry, I forgot to start the timer. So first of all, the nodes are on the same side. And what I mean is that the nodes are on the same side of the root, right? Um, for example, in this case, like 5 and 6 around here. See my mouse? Yeah, so 5 and 6 is on the same side. And 1 and 8, that's another circumstances. And uh, the common one, another one is 5 and 1, which is 3. So on the same side and on, the, on different sides, excuse me. So if it's on, it on the same side, now obviously we need to, to get the right note. Either left note or left one. So the note itself, if they're on the same side, the root is either one of these. Um, if they're on different side, then the root is up there, right? Okay, so how do you do this? Now, lowest common ancestor. Now, this is the root, right? So I think tree node, okay? So if first of all, if root is zero, not zero. If no, it's null. Then, so if root is null, we will just return null. Wait, 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 wait. Return root. Um. So. Okay. If root is just null, we return root. So. Let's think of the first situation where P and Q are on the same side of root. Okay, so how about let's get P, how about let's get root left is equal to, so root dot right. All right, so Let's iterate this lowest common ancestor. So all right, so 
we need to find the roots. So roots dot left is P and Q, and uh, roots dot right is and P and Q. So we are plugging in us uh, so we're trying to find the lowest common ancestor. So first of all, the fuck is the dog doing? Anyways, um, so if now, first of all, if root is equal to p or root is equal to q right so if root is e equal to either one of these which means just return wait oh if it's in her null or Okay, so if root is equal to p or root is equal to q, actually their address is not even the same. Anyways, um, when you say equal, this is the target p, right? So. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I guess, yeah, this is okay, okay. So if root is equal to p or root is equal to null, then we just return root, right? So, and in this case, root left is equal to lowest and common ancestor root left, and root right is equal to common ancestor, lowest common ancestor root right. Okay, so now, here's the tricky part. Here's the part where we need to see if root left is equal to null. So if it's null, then I guess we can return, right? Return if root left is no. If it's null, no, if it's not null, no, which means we have found the root. So if it's not equal to null, no, then we will return root left. Or another situation is if it's not equal to null. No, Wait, if it's equal to null, then we'll return root right, right? Because if it's null, which means we don't we didn't find anything on the left. So what's left is on the right, right? Because because we're at this stage, if root is equal to any one of these, it will just return at this step. So right now root is null, so whatever we have is totally dependent on the root right. How are we doing with time, right? Right, it's totally dependent on root right. Now, if it's not null, if root left is not null, then we need to see if root right is null or not. Root right. If it's null, then what we need to do is if it's null, to, we just return root, right? Because both sides, if it's not null, then we can just return left. Else, if, the, if it's not null, then we should return 
root. Okay, so I think that should be good. What the heck? All right, so if root, so first of all, if root is null or root is equal to p or root is equal to q, then we return root directly, right? So in this case, uh, which is which is which is fine, and root left is equal to lowest. Wait, no, wrong. So tree node left is equal to lowest common ancestor tree node right is equal to lowest common ancestor and then if left is equal to null then we'll return whatever is right have and if right is equal to null it's not equal to it's equal to null then we'll just return left what else we just return Roots. Okay, looks great. Accept it. Great. Perfect. All right. Um, I guess it was easy. Okay. All right. Anyways, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.